<clears throat> it is Thursday, November 17th, 2016. This is Nick B. I'm going to spend 24 hours inside a rehab. I'll document my experiences. Stop. Recovery is found just outside of Park City, placed on 12 acres of amazing mountainous countryside, including their own lake, streams, and waterfalls. The facility was converted from an upscale bed and breakfast and features a stone mill dating back to 1893. Upon arrival, I was shown to admissions and introduced to this nice lady. Her name is Faith. I thought maybe her name helped her secure the position. Faith was a perfect first impression. She didn't even seem annoyed by all my redundant questioning, and she gave clarity as to what was ahead of me. Faith's job is to learn as much as possible about the patient, so the Aqua staff is positioned to provide the best individual personal care. Next, they showed me to my room. Look at the digs. This made me uneasy. Two beds? Would I be sharing a room? Anxiety started to set in. I would soon find out that relationship development is an ingenious treatment strategy employed by Aqua. I had a one-track mind, climbing into that awesome bed and knocking out. What am I doing? I should have thought this through. This was a bad idea. I'm in a freaking rehab. Now, I want to be honest about this experience, not a fluffy propaganda piece. After speaking with some of the other guests at the facility, I find my thoughts of fear that first night are very normal. I guess that's the case with anything new. The bed didn't suck. Each morning, my visit is with Sheila. She takes my vitals. I hadn't given it much thought before, but this is a huge facet of the recovery process. Just as introducing illicit drugs into your system can be hazardous, so can the withdrawals your body experiences from eliminating these substances. Although this is not a detox facility, I've learned that most people addicted to drugs or alcohol have an underlying catalyst event or an issue, and this treatment often involves prescribed medications. I was comforted to see all the precautions the Aqua Recovery staff took to ensure the comfort and the safety of each patient. Next, goal setting. Anyone who knows me knows I'm a huge believer and advocate of goals. I'm also a huge believer that most people have no idea what a goal is or how to set them. For instance, a common desire for most is to have healthy relationships in their life. But this really isn't a goal. It's more of a wish. Goals need to be specific and measurable. Healthy relationships to one may be non-healthy to another. I was very impressed to see the staff at Aqua Recovery genuinely understand the goal process and discuss them daily with each patient. This is Randy. Randy is the clinical director at Aqua Recovery. Randy is a Dallas Cowboys fan. Despite our professional football franchise differences, Randy and I got along splendidly. It would have been easy for Randy to be full of himself. He is the clinical director of a renowned recovery treatment center. However, I found the opposite true of Randy's demeanor. I enjoyed kind, sincere, respectful dialogue with Randy. I'm sure he's helped thousands of people repair their lives. Lunch came at a perfect time. I was famished. What a spread the cooking staff had prepared. 
The entire menu at Aqua Recovery is designed to support physical and mental health. They call it a pro-recovery diet. High-quality, organic, nutrient-rich food. Oh yeah, it was delicious. The day I visited Aqua Recovery, they were having a rock out. And this is a graduation party of sorts for those who have completed the program and they're leaving the facility. And I really wish I could have recorded and shown this experience for you. But for the privacy reasons of the patients, I wasn't able. The rock out and most group meetings are held in this room. I call it the family room because that's exactly what the group felt like. A family with a sense of belonging. The mutual respect and acceptance of the environment, honesty and communication, real accountability within the group. I listened as each person in the room shared messages of love and commitment to that person that was leaving the group. The rock is symbolized and represented with an aquamarine stone. It will help those in recovery remember their aqua treatment experience as they reintegrate with society. Really, really cool experience. Each day, we have the option of rec time. The rec facility is amazing. It has all the equipment you could ever want to help your body repair physically. Also, three times per week, they have field trip outings, such as archery, golf, snowshoeing in the winter, obviously, and and many other fun activities. The day I was there, we visited a climbing gym. Now, despite my Levi's and improper climbing shoes, I crushed that mountain. Each day, patients have time in personal therapy sessions with an assigned counselor. I practiced an exercise about relationships that I found stimulating. I also asked tons of critical questions about the therapy process and therapy methods and some of the dogmatic rituals. Once again, I was enlightened to learn about the different personality types and their responses to alternative methods of communication. What I noticed about the treatment options at Aqua Recovery is that they are all personalized and inspired by the uniqueness of each patient, including yoga meditation, book and literature study, communication and conflict resolution skills, music therapy, providing valued service to others, family therapy, and more. What I also learned is that the stereotype of an addict is usually wrong. Take a listen to the diversity. I met a 23-year-old college student, a 58-year-old truck driver, a middle-aged mother of four, a successful businessman. There have been professional musicians and artists. The list could go on and on. Regardless of your experience with drug abuse or addiction, it does have a profound effect on your life as an American. The economic impact of drug and alcohol misuse and addiction amounts to $442 billion each year, topping diabetes at $245 billion. The United States Attorney General Vivek Murthy said in his federal report released the same day I was at Aqua, the biggest thing we've now learned is that addiction isn't evidence of a character flaw or a moral failing. It's a chronic disease of the brain that deserves the same compassion as any other chronic illness. It's now been proven that for every dollar that's invested in viable treatment for substance use disorders, it saves the United States $4 in health care costs and $7 in criminal justice costs. We can do better, and I know with your help, we will do better. Please help us spread this message. Share this video. Share the statistics. Share the love and the compassion for each other. Worn out faces Bright and early for their daily races Going nowhere, going nowhere Their tears are filling up their glasses